Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at the code that generates the alert dialog box in JavaFX that we showed you earlier. So I'm going to open up my um, Java Eclipse, which is the ID that I prefer to use. And in here you can see I've got an alert demo JavaFX project. And the code I've got here is simply an alert demo class that's primary purpose is just to launch the application. So it has the main method in it. I've then got a connection overview FXML document, which is the XML <coughs> which is the XML document used to describe the user interface. I actually use Gluon Scene Builder to generate all of this. But you can generate your interface any way you want. The key bit here is the fact that this interface has a controller written in Java called Connection Overview Controller which is this class here and you can see just here that there's a whole node of fields that are defined that match the fields you will find on the user interface so if I just run this application so this is what we've got and when we press the OK button, we get the alert turning up. So I'm going to focus on that. So what I've got is I've got a private method called handle go, which is registered as an event listener for the button that is on the user interface. So when the button's pressed, this method gets called. And the first thing it does is it will call a method I've got called isValidInput. And this method is basically where all the alert part takes place. So if I just jump to that method, I'll skip past the top part because that's just checking to see what error messages we need to display. So we simply create an object of alert type which is the JavaFX scene control alert and you pass it an alert type or oh, sorry you pass it a static um, value from the alert type class so we've passed error which gives you the red cross um, you don't have to do that uh, we could here we could have um, we could do we could pass a confirmation for example so now I've said that let's run it and see whether we um, close down the old one so at the moment what we're getting is this red cross we we'll just get rid of that and run it again and now if I press it you get the question mark so everything else is still there um, so to change the type of alert box you want you simply change Oops. I'm sorry I'm just having a real problem with my keyboard at the moment there we are so there's confirmation, error, information, none or warning and the one I was using was error so I just put that back in then you can set a title and that goes in the, the title bar so it says um, there it is it says invalid fields goes in that title bar there next we have set header text please correct invalid fields and that's the text that goes alongside the icon and above this ruler that sits across it there and then you have the content text that goes down here and 
all I've done is done set context content text and passed it my error message which I built up earlier on and then I call the show and wait which is the blocking bit of code that stops you being able to move do anything else in the application until you close down this box um, and then in this particular case I'm returning false to say there was an error so do not proceed with running the rest of the code so that's all there is to getting the alert box to pop up nice and straightforward um, I'll make all the code available so if you want to download it and have a play around you can got something nice and easy to get yourself going thanks for watching hope if you're interested in alert boxes that you found this informative and useful um, stay tuned I'll bring to you some other types of dialog boxes later on